Good day and peace be with you. It's the 15th of January of 2024. We thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. We praise your name, O Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We're here, dear Lord Father, to listen to your word because you have graced us with another day. It is by your mercy that we are here, dear Lord Father, and we're thanking you. We're letting you know, dear Lord Father, that we recognize that it is by your grace and mercy. We do not take it for granted, dear Lord Father. We're here to listen to your word. We're here, dear Lord Father, to pray as well, to place ourselves into your hands for another day. Dear Lord Father, in the scriptures of James 4, 7 and 2 Corinthians 10, 5, it tells us in James 4, 7 to submit to Jesus, resist the devil and he will flee from us. And in Corinthians 10, 5, we hear we destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. As we are here today, dear Lord Father, we are saying we are submitting to you. We're submitting to Jesus Christ and we are resisting the devil and the devil will flee from us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The theme given to us for reflection today is keep a clear conscience and the reading continues from the first book of peter chapter 3 verses 13 to 22 let us listen to the word of the lord who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good but even if you suffer for what is right you are blessed do not fear their threats. Do not be frightened, but in your heart revere Christ as God. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect, keeping a clear conscience so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better, if it is God's will, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits, to those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it, only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities and powers in submission to him. Here ends our reading today. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord, for such a powerful word. Let's all have a clear conscience. Share with others. Encourage others. Amen.